Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the channel. So I got up this morning and continued working on my hide a hitch. Uh, last night after I was done with Sumper, I went to uh, Menards and picked up the pieces that I need. Uh, I did pick up some clevises. Uh, these are half inch clevis with a uh, five, in it, five eighths uh, bolt here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is these will get welded on the back side right here just like I had thought about doing. Something like that. And then the clevises will go be in here like this. And then that's what my safety chains will hang on. Now, I haven't decided if I'm gonna weld them on like that for more clearance. Uh, probably need to move out just a little bit because of clearance right here. Um, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, or if I'm gonna weld them on like this. It doesn't really matter. I did go check on my trailer, and I do have plenty of clearance to get my safety chains hooked up there. The only thing I'm not sure of is if my safety chains are long enough, so I may have to put some longer chains on there. Um, that's where I'm at with that. My lights will go uh, about like that. I took the bracket that I had that I cut off of my old hitch over there, and straightened the tab out, straightened this all out, and then cut it off. Um, I did weld this seam together here because that was not welded, so that'll get welded on the uh, back of the hitch. Something like that um, is what I'm thinking. And then uh, the lights plug will come in through here, and then it'll flip this way to uh, plug them in. So. That's kind of where I'm at thus far. Um, it did take quite a bit to get, and then these pieces here will get welded in to kind of finish that off and uh, give it a nice clean look and uh, and some added support. So anyway, all in all, I think it's turning out really, really good. Uh, the only mishap that I did have this morning is I did burn up my four and a half inch angle grinder. I have had it probably, I would say I've had that one for probably right around eight years. So I'm pretty happy with how it has lasted uh, as much as I have used it. Um, I finished cutting everything with my Sawzall and the trusty old hacksaw. So um, now that I've made a mess out of everything, I need to get this finished welded, uh, get a coat of paint on it. Um, and then get it in a truck because I do have to go mow some lawns today. So just trying to get things finished up and taken care of to uh, get that done. So and eat lunch. It's right around 1230. So, you know, my day is escaping me quite fast. My plan is go ahead and get it welded, uh, get it looking good, and then go ahead and put a coat of paint on it. And then next year, or not next year, this winter when I'm done uh, using my truck and trailer and everything, I'm gonna pull it back out and take it and have it powder coated black. So probably gloss black. That way it's got a good finish on it and um, it'll last longer than what just painting it uh, with some spray bomb wheel. So that's where I'm at thus far. Um, not really an exciting morning, just basically a busy morning trying to get all that stuff cut, ready to be welded on, finish everything up. Right now I'm going to uh, finish welding that stuff up, eat some lunch. All right, with everything welded together, I got it hanging on my uh, paint booth right here. You can see I welded these pieces in here. Um, those are welded all the way around, just like I always do. Might be overkill, but you know, this is backed by me. It's not backed by a company, so. Not that I question my welds, but you know, I always do things a little above and beyond what actually needs to be done. But uh, I'm very, very happy with the way that it turned out. I'm in it right around, I think, 100 bucks so far with everything that I purchased. So, um, you know, it's still 200 and, or no. $159 cheaper than what I can buy it for like off of eBay or another company. So very, very happy. This is what I was talking about with my uh, 
safety chains, those loops will hang, or the, the clevises will hang down this way. <clears throat> right now I'm gonna get a coat, of, a coat of paint on it and then go in and grab some lunch and then get it installed in the truck. So, um, just, just very, very tickled to death on how it looks and the way that it turned out. Anyway, you know, you guys can uh, comment down below and let me, know, let me know what you think on what it looks like. One other thing I did get done last night also was uh, while I had my batteries unhooked is I did do my rear exhaust hanger. Um, you can see right there how I mounted that up on the frame from MBRP. Um, they sent me the mount and the isolator and then I bought the J hook down there on the bottom from one of my uh, local muffler shops. All I did was I measured, I set this up where I wanted it here for the spacing and then I just measured down this distance put a mark on my J hook and then bent a 90 in it and then welded it to the top of the pipe in four locations, each side here and each side here. And then uh, I put the J hook on there first and then just put it on this single stud up on top. So that's just one of the things I did get accomplished last night also. I'm uh, just trying to make headway. The next thing I'm going to do is get the um, Hide a hitch mounted in the truck. I have it painted. Just waiting on it to dry. Did a semi gloss black. That way I can handle it just a little bit to put it in the truck. Like I said, once I'm done using my trailer for the, the season, I'm going to take it back off again and then take it to my local powder company, loader, local, oh my goodness, my local powder coating company and have it uh, completely powder coated. So when I do that, what they'll do is they'll strip all the paint off of it they'll blast it and then they'll powder coat it uh, whatever color I choose. I'll probably do like a gloss black or a semi-gloss or something like that. I kind of like the look of the semi-gloss. Um, kind of matches everything that's on the frame underneath. So uh, right now let's just get that. I want to get that mounted and then put my license plate flip up on there. I think I've showed you this. Um, what I purchased was, I think I did show you that. That's for a... 70s model uh, GM like a Nova or Camaro or something like that and what that would do is that would mount on that car like that and then flip down to be able to put gas in it so I think I showed you that the other day but uh, I'm showing you again I seem to uh, do that quite often seems like in some of my videos as I edit them and play them back so uh, let that dry and put it in a truck I think um, as you saw in the clip with uh, everything back in place I think we are all put back together um, a little bit different than the way the truck was before the accident but for the most part I think it's uh, pretty much all back together uh, I got some things put to do under the hood yet um, as you can see I did do this is a flip up license plate like I said um, right now it won't go up all the way because the screws are in there so we'll take those out but this will go up just like that. And then my hitch will slide in there. I picked up some little rubber stoppers. Uh, they're white, but with the plate down, you don't see them, so really didn't care. Uh, all stainless steel hardware uh, to mount everything. Put my license plate light on. Underneath the truck back here is where the biggest transformation took place, and that's with the hide a hitch that I did, or hidden hitch, however you want to call it. Um, I, I think it turned out remarkably well. Turn on a light so you can see. So, I mean, it just, just really, really 
excited and happy in the fact of the way it turned out. I did use heat shrink on my wires for the license plate light and hooked it up into the factory location. Uh, so it will come on with my uh, headlights and taillights or running lights basically. I uh, use all my factory hardware to mount my hitch. The only thing left that is factory or that is basically made was I utilized these two ends right here on both sides and that's all I really used. Everything else is made. Uh, this is how my lights turned out. So that's my plug right there. My safety chains will go here and here. Uh, I did stand back and look. They do not hang down below unless I get like down on my knees is when you can see them. I was kind of worried about that. So if I needed to, I was just gonna take some black spray paint and spray these so, so you couldn't see them. But uh, for the most part, you can't. And like I said, unless you get down on your hands and knees. So it's kind of hard to see right now because of the way the lighting is. And just, there you go. There's a little bit better view. Yeah, I think everything turned out really, really well. And there's what it'll look like with the hitch in it. Uh, the only really thing about this that I don't like is how far you have to reach up and behind everything to put uh, the hitch pin in. What I may explore doing in the future, um, I've got a concept in my head and that's how usually everything is. When you're doing like a a pin on a kingpin, or yeah, when you close a pin on a kingpin, like on a semi, um, like on a fifth wheel style, there is a spring-loaded shaft or lever, basically. I may explore doing that so where you pull it out and then turn it, it stays, and then you turn it and release, and it'll go back in. I think when I'm all done for the season, I'm going to work on building one of those and put on there before I have it powder-coated. Uh, it won't be no big deal, basically just be a captured spring with a pin and then you pull it out and turn it um, and it'll stay in place. I, I can see it in my head but it's hard to explain. So you'll have a hole like this and you'll have basically two openings on each end. So when you pull your shaft out and turn it with a roll pin in there, it'll stay out and then you turn it again and it goes in and it goes back in. Anyway, you may, may not get the concept of what I'm thinking of, but uh, that's what I'm trying to think of to do in my head. So anyway, guys, uh, I think that project is pretty much a wrap. Um, like I said, more than satisfied and happy with the way that it turns out. I think it looks really, really awesome uh, without the hitch in there. So um, just and if, before, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't talk. Until I get the pin built the way I may want to do, I'll just have to, you know, take my hitch and I'll have to lay on my back on my creeper or something like that and put my hitch in and out. So, um, my trailer is always here. I can't think of the last time I've ever went and picked up a trailer outside of my house or away from my house. So, um, it's really something I don't need to worry about at this point in time. So, anyway. With that, I think that's gonna about do it today. And um, yeah, so if you don't mind, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already done so, and we will talk to you guys later on. Bye-bye.